Hi there, uh, Adam Hofer here, uh, one of the digital learning coaches for Keep Indiana Learning. And if you've made it this far, this is the final tweak in a series that we've been looking at about how we can tweak our Canvas LMS pages for big gains and things that can help you in the classroom. Uh, so this final tweak uh, in this series is uh, looking at a look at student groups and how you can quickly uh, put your students into groups in your course uh, that you can do in the moment or you can have planned out in a lot of different ways. Uh, and this is a feature that I use all the time. You know, if we want to have kind of quick pairings, I can use it. Uh, if I want to make sure that kids are kind of mixing up in the class and getting exposed to different uh, students and interacting with different voices, uh, I go straight to um, Canvas groups. So. Let's look at our Canvas instance. Let me open up this page and you can see that in, in here there are several opportunities for you to uh, look at how you can group students in different, different ways. And so in the People tab, so if you go uh, into your Canvas instance and look at the list uh, and you click on People, you'll see that you have now uh, a list of the people enrolled in your course. So for me, uh, because this is just a demo course, I don't have anybody enrolled in this, uh, but it will still work out. And so what the first thing you'll need to do is think about what is the overall goal? So you may have all of your different sections uh, in one class. Uh, so you may wanna just separate them out by sections. So maybe let me start there. So I'm gonna add a group set. And so maybe I'm just gonna call this like, you know, class, uh, periods. And so maybe I teach um, three uh, sections of the same class, but I want them all to, you know, remain in those same. So I'm going to click here, require group members to be in the same section. And so this will automatically put all of those kids who are in that same class period together into a group that you may be able to use later on uh, when you're assigning different things or grouping them later. Uh, so that's one way that you can use it. Uh, if you want to assign a leader, you can do that. We'll look at that in a moment. So I'm going to click save. And what it does then is it creates this group set. And you can see it has class period one, period two, and period three. Now I can come over here to the right and click the three dots and I can edit this name. So, you know, if period one is really, you know, period five or something, I can click and do that and it's going to put them into order. So that is one way that you can use it. Uh, I use it a lot for uh, groups. And so maybe I'm doing some uh, project and I want all of there to be, um, I can either do it by how many groups I want. So maybe I want there to be five groups or maybe I want there to be you know, five students in each group. So I can do that as well. And if you have multiple sections, you can click here, require group members to be in the same section as well. Uh, so you can click there and it will allow you to um, have them all in the same class. Uh, so that allows you to kind of quickly put students into different groups. Uh, so if I click here, again, I don't have students, so uh, it's, show, it's showing that there's no group set because I don't have any of those students there. But uh, this is a way that you can kind of easily kind of partner people up, pair them up, put them into groups, uh, get them working with other uh, voices uh, in their class. Uh, and this is something that I use frequently. Uh, if we're maybe working on something and I want them to pair up, uh, I can go straight here and just have them quickly randomize into groups. You know, it does take a moment, you know, versus just like turning to a partner next to you. But if I really feel like they're maybe getting in a rut talking to the same people, hearing the same voices, I'll use this kind of mix up the group and get things kind of um, sparked off a little differently. So um, that's something you can do with group sets. And I really like this feature in Canvas uh, because it, you know, all of our students are already pre-populated into this list and it has them ready to go. And you can just kind of uh, put them right out into uh, these different groups. So I hope you find this feature helpful as one of the kind of final tweaks that you can do to help uh, make things a little bit easier for you in the classroom and to help your students engage with one another. Uh, I love using Canvas and I think it has a lot of functionality. Uh, and so I hope these tweaks have come in handy for you uh, as you've walked through this series. Uh, thanks so much.